Hey guys, this is Rob. Um, today I'm going to give you some kind of Bob Ross instruction. I've got a cup of tea with me, so it's all going to be good. Um, I'm going to show you how to create an instrument uh, using Skinman. Um, and I must admit that uh, Skinman was a, a suggestion from um, his forum name is uh, McEnfly, uh, Peter. He, he, he made a little screencast for me and uh, I started using it and I'm really a fan of it right now. So um, I'm going to show you some of the basics. It's, it's a very... Uh, you can do a lot of stuff with it, but I'm going to show you some of the basics. Just how to get started and you'll find your way. Um, <coughs> first downloading. Uh, if you type in Skinman on your uh, in, in Google, it's you see it's the first hit, and down here you can find uh, the, the download. First, you're gonna set uh, the canvas size. So go to canvas image properties, and I'll use 500 by 500. Okay, and then I'll use a black background and what I want to make is a uh, it's over here it's, it's a, a RPM gouge from a Cessna I'm gonna try s yeah to make something like this but it's it's gonna look like this a little bit but if I wanted to make it in real detail, then it's going to take too much time, so it's going to be a rough thing. So we'll add a square onto that, like this, and I want two pixels on each, uh, each side. So I'll make this for 69 and for 69, 96, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> um, that's two on each side. Okay. And I want the edges a bit curved. Uh, so well, let's say 15. Is that enough? Mm, a little bit more. 20. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Um, of course, this is going to be a bit grey. Something like this. Mm. Yeah, so we use the RGB code 53. Go over here. 3, 2, 2. Okay. There we have it. Um, I first want to, want to let it pop out a bit so you can set a depth border and a fill and a border width. I'll try uh, two and two here. Mm, that gives you an idea. Um, and of course this surface isn't going to be very smooth so I'll put a texture over it. I'll try this one. Oh, it's getting close, maybe two. Mm, I like one better. Okay, here we are. Oh, and uh, I suggest you to uh, well save it as much as you can because uh, the program isn't really stable. It's it's quite stable, but it might crash sometimes. So you don't want to see all your work disappear. So I'll save this as a just now RPM. There we are. Um, okay, well, let's look at the, the image. There's a thick border before, and there's that small border over here, the back one. Mm, well, we can do both. Let's see. So we'll make the we'll make the ring first. Go over here. The circle too. Um, the square is 4.96, so I'll make it 
490, 490. So that makes five from each corner. Nah, it's a bit too big. Let's say 480. Let's change this one. Mm, it's getting better. Okay. Um, the color. It's almost the same. Mm. I'll, I'll use the same color, and uh, we'll be changing the style so you don't you won't notice that it's the same color. Um, oh, it isn't really. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll give this one a, a, a border too. Uh, it can be a little bit more because. Again, this is all just very basic. You can make it much more beautiful, but I'm just playing around a bit. Um, two is okay. And, and there's that little bit dark shadow. So we'll make another circle. It's gonna be Let's see. Four. <laughs> um, good question. Uh, four seventy. Okay. It's fifteen. Fifteen. No, that's too big. Four fifty. Mm, well, still not very good, but good enough. Um, turn this one into black. And we give it a little bit of uh, depth, so put that on minus two, also minus two, can make that, no, that's too much. I'm not really sure if this is going to be very good, but I'll give it a try. Um, for So you see this uh, little black ring that's gonna that's developing, um, and there's a well, almost flat border. Um, this is the color, so I'll make it uh, well, seventy. Mm, a little bit too light maybe, but we'll see. And then I'll add another one, which is just layer over layer. And you can see all those layers over here. It's easy to give them a name if, if, if possible, because then you, uh, yeah, else you will, you'll be searching <laughs> all these layers, and it's, it's a, lot, a lot of work. Um, make this one. No, maybe 400. Might be a bit too small, I guess, but I'll try. Yeah, that's too small. I'll make it 410. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, still not satisfied. Uh, okay, like this. Yeah, that's better. And then I'll change the color of this one. Make it a little bit darker. Yeah, put like this. And you can also use a little, little bit of texture. Mm. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, and then we'll start with the. I'll skip this ring. Start with the inner color. I can't really copy it from here, so just have to guess. Mm, oh, it can be a lot, a lot darker. Something like this. 
forgive me something went wrong with uh, the screencast uh, probably saved one over another one and I lost some stuff so uh, on the left here you see <laughs> it's, it's almost finished already uh, so this part is going to be in between so it's, it's not really making sense right now but you'll get it um, you already see that I put a, a like a little sphere effect over it uh, that's over here um, sphere and when you uh, select it uh, default it, it comes with a highlighting of 50 I guess and you get something like this I don't really like it <laughs> you, you, you probably see why um, so I'll change it to zero or maybe well yeah really zero and uh, I, I've dropped this uh, actually I, I made this a little bit higher before it comes like 50 like this I made it 60 it doesn't really do much but I thought it was a little bit better and then uh, comes the part with the lines you can use the, the line tool I'll do it again because uh, if I'll just show you what I've made and it won't make any sense to you I'll take this one and I know because I made it before it's going to be 410 and 410 so this is going to be 45 and 45 something like this yeah that's okay now I'll change the color to uh, white um, I'm not going to make it really, really white, so white. Uh, uh, I'm going to choose a little bit of whitish, like this. And it has to be a little bit thicker, so I'll take 8. And um, you will need it to. to it has uh, eight lines and it uh, begins over here and it ends over there so the vertex changes to seven sounds a bit strange but it is <laughs> and um, I'll take this one to 135 like this and also the other one There we go. And you see it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, this is not really what you want, of course, so we'll change the depth. And as you can see, I can take it this way, but it's not the correct way. So take it this way. And there you go. Uh, make it 85. And now there's going to be uh, some lines in between. So the easiest way to do it is to just copy this one, paste it, and there you have it. It's it's underneath. It's exactly the same. Uh, it's on top actually. Yeah. Um, and then we need more lines. I know that's going to be 35, so like this. You get this, but those need to be a little bit shorter and a little bit so four and ninety. Well, there you have it. And then uh, we need to add some text. It's one thing I've already done in the, in the previous or the next screencast, uh, but I'll show it again. There we go. There you have your text. And it starts at zero, so zero. Uh, I'll choose a, yeah, just a basic font. You can pick whatever you want. There's a lot of them, of course. Um, this is going to be the big zero, so make it 60. And of course, you want this also white, so change the fill. There we go. And place it somewhere underneath something like this and what I like to do is just copy this paste and drag it over here and then you can change it to 
five or whatever. The next one, etc. There you go. I've done a, a little fast forward because it's it's taking a lot of time to, uh, to put all these in position. Uh, so let's have a look at the original one. What we need to do? I'll skip the the, the hop smoother because well, <laughs> that's yeah. I can do it, but it's too much time for me. consuming for now. Um, so we're gonna make the the needle. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. Let's do. It. Mm. No, start in the middle. There's a little white dot. It's gonna be in the middle. So that's two thirty, two thirty. Make this one white. Um, I think I'll yeah I'll choose the same color. There we go. And then we need the, the the needle part. A little bit on the back. Make it like this. It's too white probably, but I'll change this into. 20. Oh. So that's 240, that's in the middle. So now it's a little bit on the back. Um, maybe a little bit too much. To, um, if you don't want to go through all the selections, you can just uh, these are the last ones. You can just lock these. And then you only select these, not the background anymore. Like this. Take this one. It's going to be a little bit smaller. So maybe and what I'll do now first is uh, I'll take this one as the the main image. Uh, we'll name it to middle, and I can. Put these in here. I'll select one. And there's operation. It's on normal, but I'll put it on shape plus. This and also this one, shape plus. And now it became uh, a solid thing. So everything uh, I do, I do like. Uh, Giving a little bit of border like this changes for all the the shapes. Uh, yeah, maybe something like this. Now it needs a, a pointy needle. I'm not sure how pointy. No, kind of. Uh, okay. Your triangle. Make it a little bit longer, like this. Maybe it's too too much. I don't know. But it's a bit too big, so it's too yeah, something like this. And also, I'll include this one in here and select plus. And now it's part of the the whole needle. Okay, there we have it. And there's a little black hole in here. Mm, or it's to make it complete. There we have it. Black. 
and give it a bit of that. And I want the, the needle to give a little bit of uh, shadow, so choose an intensity about 20 I think. You can see it's over here. Mm, I think I can give it 30 because when I'll choose diffuse like this it's gonna be a bit vague so and the offset's gonna be a little bit smaller maybe like this okay well there we have it it's very simple but effective <laughs> for now um, the best way to save this is leave this one away there we go then you have your background and you can export it uh, call it the uh, RPM back and I want the, the, the black borders around it so I'll choose a bit opaque peak background and it's going to be a PNG so save there we go you can see the results over here there we have it that's our result uh, it, it's a bit more black here that uh, Windows Photo Viewer it makes it a bit more black. Um, okay, now we need to do the, the needle. Um, there's not really an easy way to, uh, not as far as I know, to uh, hide all these at once. Uh, you can try this, but no, it doesn't work. Um, and we want to show the needle now. So uh, this one, and we're going to hide all the other stuff. There we are. Now we only have our needle. And I'll export this. Call it RPM needle. And give it an alpha so uh, you won't see the background, you only uh, you only will see the, the the needle. Save. And that's easier because uh, if you uh, import the image full screen right now, it's going to be uh, on the exact uh, position you want it. You only have to uh, twist it a bit to the left for its default setting, but that's easy. So um, let's see the results. There it is. That's our needle. It was very beautiful, but it works. Um, I think that's all. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do here in here, and just throw around all the values. Nothing's gonna explode or something. Uh, just try, and, and when you use it a lot of times, you'll see it's getting uh, quite easy, and, and you can make a lot of beautiful things with just a, a freeware program. So uh, you understand why I'm such a fan. I hope you learned something and uh, good luck.